It's never too late to get your life. Welcome to Get Your Life Podcast. Really quickly before I get into the real stuff. If you're working a job that doesn't give you good benefits, and every time y'all complain as a unit about your terrible pay and your benefits and stuff, and they throw you a pizza party like you in elementary school, quit your job. You deserve better, king and queen. You hear me? You deserve better. Listen, I work that type of job. <laughs> However, it's 10 minutes from my house, and the pay is decent. So yes, the benefits are trash, and they do throw pizza parties to get us to shut up. And I'm so sick of pizza. But it's a few minutes from my house, so here we are. I'm still there. But you deserve better. If you're commuting, and the pay is trash, and they doing you like that, you deserve better, king. You deserve better, queen. All right, moving on to the topic of the day. So I've been thinking a lot about setting yourself apart as a believer. And a lot of times, nobody, people don't want to be set apart. They don't want to be different from everybody else. We all like to kind of blend in. We don't want to stick out. We don't want to do anything different from the crowd. That's typically how most people are. Um, most people are followers, not leaders. Let's just keep it 100. So the idea of going against the grain is scary to most people. And the thing about it is, as a believer, living in this world, you should look different. You should not look like everybody else because what do you have that the next person doesn't have if you look just like them by your actions and your behaviors? If you're doing the exact same thing a non-believer does in various situations, there's no difference and there has to be a difference. There has to be something different about you that people can distinctly be like, I don't know what it is, but this person's different in a good way they different they're more loving they're more kind they're more thoughtful they're not doing all of this stuff these different things to escape they seem to have peace they sleep well at night like whatever the case may be like there has to be something different about you and I realize that we are most of us are not willing to do what it takes to set ourselves apart like it says it in the world that we should be set apart we should not look like the world yet most of us believers do. So my challenge today for you guys is to really look at your life and see if you're setting yourself apart or do you look like everybody else? Because a lot of your non-answer prayers could be because you're not consecrating yourself. You are not separate. You're like everybody else and you're expecting that your prayers are going to be answered. Or and or you're praying prayers based on your will and not God's will. You're praying for what you want, but you haven't considered what God wants for you. And you're not willing to do what it takes to hear, to know what God wants from you. For years, I was chasing, trying to figure out what my purpose is. Like, what is my purpose? What am I supposed to be doing? And I could not figure it out, but I was not willing to do what was necessary, which is get closer to God and separate myself in order to get close to him. And it wasn't like a, the separation is not a an act that I'm actually, actually did. It was me getting closer to God that separated me from certain things. I didn't just act like, I don't wanna do this. I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna do that. That's not what happened. I was just like, I'm tired of living the way I'm living. I'm gonna get close to you because apparently you are where it's at. And as I got closer, then the stuff that I used to desire start to drop off of me. So I do res like when people be like, oh, you trying to live different? No, I'm not trying to do anything. Like I'm not, I, I wasn't actively trying to live different. It's me getting closer to God that made me, like he changed me. I didn't make the change. I cannot make, take credit for the change because honest to God, I thought what I was doing was fine. I didn't think uh, smoking a little weed was bad. Like, that, I was fine with it. I was fine with doing some edibles. I was fine with smoking a little weed. I was fine with, you know, everything that I was doing to um, relieve my nerves. I had no problem with it, and I didn't judge anybody that 
uh, did it because I had no problem with it. But as I got closer to him, I didn't need those things. I felt convicted trying to do those things and I, I stopped desiring those things. So he changed me. So then he started separating me. So I think a lot of people are doing the reverse where you're trying to actively change and you can't really do it on your own. So just start with, okay, I know I got to be different. I know I can't do it by myself. So let me go seek God first. Let me start seeking him. How do you seek him? Okay, how about this? Open up your Bible. You don't know where to start? Start reading the Gospels. Start with Matthew and just start reading. And as you're reading, say, God, open my eyes, let me see. So that's not just words on the page, but this is actually ministering to me. Actually, I'm getting something out of it. You do that mess every day, I bet you you'll change. I bet you you'll change. You reading the Bible every day, asking him to open your eyes, praying afterwards that he helps you um, live out what you're reading. I bet you you'll change. And then when you come and say, God, as I'm praying for my needs, let your will be done. I bet you something different will happen in your life. So that's my challenge because when you when the different things start happening and then you you start setting yourself apart because his word is imparted into you and now you're feeling different and you're acting different, you will see the results of getting closer to God. But first it starts with that mindset. Look at your life. Do you look different than the people of the world? If you don't, it's time to make a change and get go deeper. Go deeper. That's it. Y'all have a wonderful day. I feel like that's one. Everyone else. Have a wonderful day. I love you. Bye. It's never too late.